40. <sighs> Almost afternoon. Sunday. I've already edited the vlogs from the other day, working on the ones from Friday. And then as soon as it's done outputting, I'll do Saturdays. Probably rolled into today's. So last night we went over to my cousin's. We didn't end up playing cards. We mostly just sat around watching Disney movies and just bullshitting. It was fun, but we were so exhausted. We didn't even leave there till midnight. We made a shoky. We were just so tired. So she started out the day. So following up from last weekend, she started out the day getting a root canal. Finally taking care of that tooth. Got a crown and all kinds of stuff. So much better than it was. Still has one more to go. But uh, that that's a thing, so that's good. So she's in there now trying to get caught up on her work. I am in here editing things. I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done with these quick vlog edits, I'm gonna work on the Core Gundam review. I did download some new music. Be very cool. So the music to go over the uh, turntable time for those. And then, uh, I don't know. I'm going to talk to Thomas, see if he wants to just do the notes. And then I'll do the, uh, I'll go through and like add my own things. And then I'll add the pictures and stuff. <sighs> so tired. Like, this was such a good episode of Build Divers, but I'm exhausted. You know? It's like I want to do the live stream, but I'm just freaking exhausted. Um, coffee's not helping yet. I'm currently uploading that vlog. So it's basically like edit, upload, edit, upload, edit, upload. Well, the vlogs aren't super important to everybody, but I enjoy doing them. That's why I'm doing it even now. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, I guess, hopefully, I have to check shipments. But hopefully, a thing will be coming this week that will require me to clean off this mess of a desk for review purposes. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I'll just do it over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, you know, this week I've got... I don't know if I'm going to build anything this week. I might. I've got to get this backlog back under control. Maybe I'll build the next next few kits I was talking about doing. Maybe I'll do some of the grandpas since I have like four variants of the grandpa to do right now. And then do a comparison review for those. So, And then plus all these things in the box over here still need to be done. So get those done, I need to clean up that. Get rid of the boxes that I need to get rid of. Cause there's no reason to hold on to every box. And then I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with all these new core Gundams lying around. I think that's where I was talking about, you know, getting rid of or putting away a lot of stuff that's over here um, to make room. For the things I do want to display, stuff like that, you know, I'm, I would love to have just a buttload of stands that I can just go ahead and make more IBO displays. You ought to get good. Can't help it. <sighs> you know, I even got like seven, maybe eight hours of sleep last night. Still exhausted. Still in pain. I took three Tylenol this morning. Ugh. Very slowly going through. Oh, yeah, I need to check on my next uh, Ecto-1 chunk. This should be coming very soon. But the last time they said it was coming soon, I never got a notification that it actually finally shipped, and then it just showed up at my door. Still need to build the rest of the uh... <sighs> proton packs. Uh, a lot of stuff to do this week. I just... I need a little bit of a break from work. This week really kicked my ass. I'm just tired. 
and you know the extra money is going to be nice you know but man it's so much extra work and like yesterday after i got off work basically relaxed or filmed the review you know i was gonna play with this guy a little bit or yeah got a back of camera while we yeah, by the way, it's a, it's a fun thing. I did follow up on that. I did go ahead and order the batteries on Amazon. They should be here tomorrow, so I can actually do that review, too. Get some Transformers reviews in the mix. Uh, excuse me. Breakfast. But still waiting on Ikea to get my desk in. Hopefully that will be sometime soon. And then I can feel like this room is kind of under control again. I can throw those boxes away now, can't I? Maybe I need to move my Ecto-1 parts into a bigger box. I don't know. <sighs> I'm just tired. But I'll check in later and figure out what I'm going to do with my day. Other than sit here and edit. The, uh, the core Gundam reviews is going to be the thing that's going to do me in, I think. Yeah. Actually, I might skip the next vlog until, until I get that done. Just so I have the bulk of that work, because it's coming out tomorrow. I don't have Master Grade Monday, but I need some Gumpla content, so I might as well just do that. But, yeah. Check back later. Hello, Monday. You evil, evil bitch. Okay, Mondays aren't evil. It's just been a rough morning. Ugh. So, I get to bed actually at a reasonable time post-live stream last night. Just super exhausted. Wake up a little bit before alarm this morning with the wifey. <sighs> I try to stay in bed, get a little more sleep. It didn't really work. I actually got up before she left, and then I was just exhausted. So I chilled on the couch for a little bit, and then um, ultimately, okay, ultimately just uh, went to the corner, got some breakfast tacos, which were really good this morning, for whatever reason, they were really good. Um, sure, this sausage out where I can... Get it for dinner tonight. <laughs> Fucking gnats. Uh, but I have got boxes. So I uh, mentioned ordering those batteries. So <laughs> they ship those batteries in this box. So I'm going to open that up. And we're going to put lights in the freaking thing. I also got a box from Needs Toys. So those are what I hope are two things. He said he was, I figured he was waiting to send them in one box. Uh, that's going to wait for an In the Kitchen video from other things coming in this week. Hopefully coming in this week. So I'm not in a giant rush to open that. Mostly because I see it as more work, as it were. So let me let me get set up here. So I do have a lot of work to do today. I need to make use of my time. <clears throat> we have a trap pod. But I need to do the Transformers reviews, the things I just got. You know, the uh, Seekers. Good news is, with the Seekers, I don't need to film the transformation and stuff like that. So, there's that thing. So, we're going to open this up. Yay. I do need to edit the uh, do need to edit the vlogs from yesterday and day before. Actually, I think I have one of them edited. I just didn't upload it. There we go. Seriously, this could have been an envelope. Look at this. Ah, oh. killed it. Whatever it was. Look at this. Look at this. This size box for these batteries. Is that right? Huh. Okay, so, yeah. These are the batteries I needed. This must get three of them in there. Oh, they are skinny. Okay, so compared to, I don't have them out here. 
So compared to the LR44s that are like super thick, these are thin, like what I would really consider like a button battery, judging by the thinness. So I need triodim, need triodim. Get this out of here. So this is all behind the scenes footage, as it were. Also, I totally have to leave my phone plugged in. Come on, come on, there we go. Leave my phone plugged in for these things. You know what? We did a live stream last night and I did not show off my trophy of apathy. I need to go back and do that retroactively somehow. Okay, so, oh, and I did notice, so when I put this back together the other day, you know, because I knew I wasn't going to have the battery just yet, I put it together backwards, or rather upside down. So the button is here, and then, of course, the other side. I didn't realize I'd put it in upside down. I was trying to, like, why is the button not doing anything? So hopefully I didn't do any damage. Also, I don't have a screwdriver this small, at least that I know of. Um, I had a little bitty screwdriver set, but I'm going to be honest and say I don't know exactly where that is currently. So that's why I'm using this broken off blade. So we don't try this and hope that I didn't screw anything up. But yeah, when I put it back together the right way, it definitely felt better. So the other thing I need to do today, other than film Beast Box and Transformers reviews, is actually what I'm going to do first, which is a combo or recombination video of the um, uh, there, the uh, Earth armors and stuff like that, or the core armors. <laughs> Turn it on, get some more light. So, obviously you can mix and match colors and whatnot. And so I put it out to uh, my community tab. And be like, hey guys, what do you got? What do you, what do you want? What do you want to see for different combos? So, for the most part, one guy answered me. Another one that's just being a smart ass. I think we're going to end up having to block that guy. Because he just kind of keeps trying to piss me off. Wow, that popped right out, didn't it? Okay. So, uh, forget which way it said. I believe this way would be the way to go. Positive one way, negative the other. Huh? Uh, instructions. Instructions. So the cool thing is, at least with these guys, um, pretty easy to transform and get through. Uh, so the positive side faces backwards. I would have put it in there backwards. So that's good that I looked at that. I mean, I would have put it in the wrong way is what I mean. So. One. Two. Three. It fills up that spot fairly nicely. Which I put that back in. That doesn't even really stay. Okay. See, there's something that you should always pay attention to. The button keeps falling out anytime you take it apart. So you got to make sure that you keep track of that. Or it's going to just go off and do its own thing. Go be a button for someone else. Like that. Balls. Where did it go? Oh, great. Little tiny silver thing on the ground somewhere. It's not that small. It should stand out. All right, hold on. Found it. It was like I ran my hand over it, just couldn't see it there. Okay, let's put that back in there. Come on. Go 
look into your hole. All right. All right, let's see here. Come on. <sighs> really? Same deal that happened before, where the button doesn't line up properly. Did I have it in there right? I thought I did. Gotta check again. So look, it hits there. Okay, so button is in place. Bring everybody up. I was right. That's a speaker. Although it doesn't make any sense because they make the they make the camera lens a flash. However, the toy version that's coming comes with the added on flash. I wonder if they add electronics to that. I bet the Magic Square doesn't have that. And you know what? I wonder if it's something that they never advertised on purpose. Okay, so. I mean, you heard it, but now we're going to check it out here. All right. What? Once again, why this is like the the thing. So why would it flash through there? It's cool. I do wish they had painted this black and done that. I think it would have made much more sense also if they had if they could have incorporated it to pushing one of the buttons. It's cool. Let's just be honest here. Okay, so... Yeah. That's all I needed to do with that. I'm excited. And now I have way too many of these batteries. I have a buttload of LR44s. I have... I keep buying 2032s, forgetting that I have a buttload of them. And I usually use these for LED purposes. Like, LED... Certain LED candles use them. And I have, like, a ton of them. I just keep forgetting about it. So I buy more like an idiot. So, all right. I'm going to do the next couple of videos. I think, like I said, I'm going to start with the armor videos. Take the suggestions that a couple people made. Um, and then I'm going to do the Seeker review. Then I'll probably do this review. And then Beast Boxes. Because, like, the Seeker review, because I can skip the transformation probably going to be a lot better um at least easier just comparison there's, there's nothing else going on essentially so that makes our life a lot easier i am feeling better i do need to go get my drink that i left in the fridge though um i'm not as exhausted as i was i think getting cool shit in the mail energizes you that's just cool i was wondering why it was such a complex looking circuit it wasn't just a light that turns on uh, I will say the fitment is still a little bit weird. So this is like one long uh, out-the-box review. So, all right, I'll check in in a little while. I got other filming to do. You know, you know how it goes. You know what? Stop. All right, so that took longer than anticipated, but I did the whole, like, cross-pollinating planet stuff. It was really fun. I actually came up with some cool ideas, some finished after the video, technically speaking. Like this one. This was a... Leftovers Gundam, so to speak. I kind of like that, but now I really want to see like this white and blue. So I kind of want to really like work on something like that. I don't know where the damn thing is focusing. Here, get up in its face. Either way, I think the red, white, blue 
does work. You just gotta find a way to do it. I gotta fix my lights. I had to move some stuff, but um, especially with like the red and the dark blue with some white. Also, this was uh, a victim of cross crossing stuff. So this is actually Mars 4 leg. This is not. So I actually did some cool stuff to make that happen. Oh yeah, and then because I didn't show it off, using the leftover uh, fin from the Mercury one to make a vertical fin. <laughs> It just came to me, so. Now the question is, do I take those and make them back the way they were or leave them kind of customized? Like this one is kind of a wanderer. Like, I like him. He doesn't really have a name, so he's got the big sword. He's got a one-arm cannon. He has half a wing, so I guess he could fly a little bit, but I was kind of thinking like a cape. And then just a, you know, subtle missile launcher there. But I like the the asymmetrical nature of it, the fact that his legs are different, his shoulders are different, that kind of stuff. So I dig that one. The part of me wants to swap the head so I have like green eyes on him. I don't know. It's interesting he has yellow eyes, green eyes, whatever. But now I have a pile of customized core Gundams. But now I need to uh, do the little jet guys. Like, it's already, like, almost 4 o'clock. Like, I've just really been going behind. So, I want to get these guys done, and then I can get at least one Beast Box review out of the way, because it's literally sitting right here. Most of them I can do fairly quickly. I need the box for my Jet Boys, so I also need all the accessories and stuff like that. Where is my camera focusing? It looks like it's doing, or like it's focusing on the Mountain Dew. Like, is that what it is? It's, like, the most high contrast thing, so it's looking at the Mountain Dew. Yes, that's exactly what it was. I gotta pee. So if I can get get the Seekers done, get at least one, maybe two Beast Box reviews done tonight, I'll be happy. But like that, that was fun, just creating. Creating kit bashing is something that is, it, it, it's something. Like just the idea that you can only do one way, stuff like that, that's annoying. So I need to bring these out because I'm going to need weapons and we need the bases stuff like that bring these all out here accessories and i also need to get the other seekers down there for comparison so i mean it's pretty easy they're all the same exact mold um but yeah let's go in here let's, let's go to the bathroom together and the tripod is really wonky <sighs> I guess I have it set to lean towards the set, I guess. All right, so I'm in the middle of the uh, Rainmaker review, so I'm just gonna sit here and transform these. So I'm not gonna do them on camera because that just takes too long, especially with the fact that I have to do three of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys. See, I did miss a tick because I am going to display these guys in jet mode, I believe. So, um, in theory, like, it would have made more sense to do the Taro video last than I did it first, like I usually do, only because I had Sunstorm already in, um, Bob mode. So it just made sense. Transform the one, um, let me go from there. So underneath, this looks like 7-Eleven. I didn't even realize that. Like I, until I started doing just the beginning half of this review, I didn't even realize there was that different of a design. Like I knew obviously the camo design on his back, you know, the back of the wings, totally is a thing. Um, just fold that up out of the way. Uh, but like I didn't know that underneath he has the same type of wings as all the other seekers. So. That was an interesting trip for me, so to speak. Let's fold all this flat. I really do like the engineering from New Age. Like, I don't know if I've ever really talked about that. So like, I've only got two Magic Square figures and it's Ultra Magnus and uh, Sideswipe and they're fine but the engineering is not that good. And I haven't looked at any other Magic Square stuff, including like, you know, they have their own Seekers, they have their cone heads, they've got a uh, sound wave that just came out, they've got a reflector that just came out. 
So they're usually trying to beat New Age. Like New Age and Magic Square are doing the same thing. They are doing G1 legend scale figures that are basically tiny masterpieces. But for me, New Age has better engineering, better feeling plastic and more consistency amongst their own line, whereas Magic Square it doesn't have those things. And that's me watching other reviews. Now, Iron Factory is not really in the discussion because they have their own niche. Um, though seemingly Toy World is now doing their own thing with the Beast Wars line, as is, uh, who is it that did those? Is that, uh, Dang, I can't remember. I can't remember who did uh, Black Arachnia and uh, Rat Trap right there. That's uh, crazy, my brain. So, you know, but now we've got Beast Wars coming. We've got Trans Transmetal Beast Wars, Transmetal 2 Beast Wars figures from different companies, along with these guys all kind of having a G1 war, so to speak. But I like these guys. Now, I will say this. Magic Square didn't do the Rainmakers. So that puts... That puts New Age ahead in my mind. They did the Coneheads first, which is fine. And their Datsun, their Datsun bros, they don't even look like real Datsuns. That's what's crazy about it. I was like, what the heck? I was like, put a little bit more effort into it. The robot modes are okay. And like... Some people prefer their uh, accessories and stuff, and that's fine if you do. I don't. Like, as soon as New Age shows me that they're gonna do an Ultra Magnus and, and Sideswipe, and, you know, all, all associated other G1 bots, that's the thing. They need to get these more G1 bots out, or ARC bots, I should say. And they're um, in the middle of doing a. Uh, What, what were they doing? Oh, um, they did a movie ver. They did a Bayverse Soundwave, which looks fantastic. It looks like a little mini masterpiece again. Um, but I don't think anyone was asking for that. I'm sure it's great. And actually, I don't know if it's uh, legend scale or not. But their Soundwave 2.0, like so, we call it 2.0 because obviously uh, New Age is. Uh, directly related to DX9. DX9 Sonic Wizard is actually a very good sound wave, but the Minibots, you know, his little pets, aren't that great. Not to mention they never came with a Rumble or Frenzy. The New Age one looks at least as good as Sonic Wizard, if not with a little bit more uh, inspiration from a different type of sound wave. You can do the... Uh, lamppost mode, stuff like that. So, it is what it is. Oh, uh, he gets the black. No worries, right? So this is pretty interesting. So like I said, I'm trying to get a lot of these reviews done so I can get them all edited out and stuff. Especially these things that have been laying around. So since I'm going to be working on a new display as soon as this new big bot comes in. Oh, see, look, hold on. They do that striping, but it doesn't matter because the camo side is what faces forward anyways. What's the point? Actually, I never considered the fact I could leave the missiles on the wings and just leave the, the null rays up because they'll be hidden in the back. No reason to take them off. Just take off the null rays. Oh, yeah, I gotta fold these in. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, so look, I, can, I never considered the fact I could do that. They don't show. Hold on, let me see if it's all right. Wings up or wings down? I think there's... No, they're supposed to be down. Okay. They can be angled a little. Like that. That's fine. He looks so heavy because his arms are black. It's crazy. I do like the just 
the overall differential between the Rainmakers is neat, in my opinion. By the way, I have to transform six of these. Because i got to transform the original Seekers, too. I'm not going to video all of this. I'm going to turn back on the Timcast IRL that I was listening to. But this is all part of being a reviewer. Especially when it's something like this, where you have a multitude of the same thing that has to be done over and over. The redundancy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It gets a little old sometimes. But that's why I wouldn't do each one of these. You know, I'd do them all together. And if I was doing something, you know, like I've mentioned before, like the Dinobots, where I have a buttload of type of Dinobots, and it makes way more sense to just have them all out and transform them all together instead of uh, instead of just doing it, you know, one at a time. No, I'm going to do these in stages so I can have my different comparisons. Do like when I did the or the um, when I did the Devastator review. That was all at once, so I did all six. All six of the individual reviews concurrently. So that way, as I went, I could do the comparisons to the other ones. So I would do the yeah, all I would do all of the vehicle modes all at the same time. I did uh or did all the vehicle modes all at the same time. So I could compare all the vehicle modes to as it went. Then I did all of the transformations as it went. Then I did all of the uh, bot modes all at the same time so I could have them comparative, you know. So that way I only had to do the entire review once. So, um, like, also for Devastator, so Thomas is going to get eventually complete the Bayverse Devastator from the Studio Series, which I'm trying to help him with. I tried to get him some of the lesser bots because he didn't get out the shop that much, especially right now. Um, so there's a couple of them that are out now that he doesn't have, so I'm going to try to help him out with that um, so that we can really get it done. But he's been holding off on doing the reviews until he has them all. So... That's what I advised him to do. I'm like, you could do them all individually as they come out, or just wait until you have them all, and then you can get them all done together. I will help you do it. Um, so once we get all of them together, we're going to do that. I'm going to go over there, and it'll probably take all afternoon on a Sunday. But we'll do it. We'll get her done. Because that's not easy. Now, when it comes down to other reviewers, I've seen plenty who, you know, when you've got much bigger numbers, you got much bigger money, you can afford to have multiples. So, for instance, with the Planet X ones, I get really tired of transforming some of the older Planet X bots. Um, because they're getting more fragile, especially like Optimus. Like, I don't want to transform Optimus anymore, and I really wish I had one in vehicle mode, you know, for comparison. So, that's one of those things, like if I can catch one on sale down the line or something, I'll probably do that. Whoa, how did this happen? I have never done that. Never accidentally jam that up in there. Okay. Let's get you inside yourself. Mr. So Mr. Sunstone. Sunstone. I do like to see. Like, I do want the cone heads because their transformation is a bit different. And it sort of intrigues me. Because, like, the wings for them are either at their back or down at their feet. And they have heel spurs. These don't. Which is kind of annoying when you're 
doing what you got to do. And their feet just kind of suck. So that's one reason I don't display these guys in, in uh, bot mode. Because I would have to have them on a stand or something. To make it worth my time. Also, yes, I did not consider the fact that I would have to transform six of these. Um, so, at least it's a it's a pretty intuitive and not that difficult transformation. The hardest part is the arms, um, generally speaking, and it's mostly the uncompacting or recompacting the arms into place. So that's the only part that I generally have an issue with. But other than that, they're really, really well done. Plus, I just like how the Seekers look in jet mode. I think it's just really, really well done. So it's like, half the time, I was just like, I don't all these other bots I really like in bot mode. But like the Dinobots, I've got all my almost all my Dinobots I might have to retract that. I've got two-fifths of my Dinobots in uh, Dino mode. So because Slag has a super hard time standing with the terrible engineering in his legs, he's in Dino mode. Uh, I've got Grimlock in bot mode being held by Devastator, you know, which, speaking of, i got to have to get Devastator down for the, uh, for the reflector review. If for nothing else, just the, uh... No, I'm going to use it in the review, too. I almost forgot to fold that over. Talking too much. So I'm at least going to get these three transformed up on video. And then I'll turn this back on. It is... Oh, shit, it's 518. So the wifey's probably trying to call me or message me right now. And I'm on the... And I'm on the using it. I'm using the phone currently. But... So she's... It's Monday, so she's at her internship, and then she's got to go to actual work for at least a couple hours to get caught up on that. So, I mean, she is working stupid hard right now, you know, and it's going to be a rough eight weeks, I keep saying it, but I think that as long as her actual job doesn't basically just completely fall apart, which is, sadly, it's starting to lean that way, at least that her office is having some major issues right now, especially with keeping people. I get that um, it is a stressful time for everyone, but people are literally just quitting and bailing on them. And that's bullshit. Like, you know, especially if they were fairly well new, uh, they're bailing after like a month or a couple weeks. And they just now got a uh, new, you know, in office big boss. Like, just now, like, finally, like a week or two ago, maybe. And, you know, they've been without one for a few weeks. And that was already weird as to how that happened. Nobody even knew. It's like, it's like, it's really strange when the boss all of a sudden quits. It's really weird, not gonna lie. Yep, bugs. Bugs hitting the, win hitting the window. So, I don't know. I, I think that um, just depending on how things go with her internship, you know, she might be lined up with a new job. You know, when it's done. That's, that's the hope. That's essentially the goal. You know, go run through your internship and then end up with a job afterwards. You know, because that would that would be the part that would suck. Like, you get done with your internship and then you have to go job hunt for that field when you just spent eight weeks basically training in an office. You know, like if it was me, I'd be like, uh, "No, I'm just gonna stay here. Is that okay?" I've obviously never had to do anything remotely like this. Why are you? not hinging your your hinge is not hindering what's going on here that is supposed to hinge this is weird this one is 
having issues. There we go. Strange. Something. Yeah. Maybe it's because the head is crooked. No, oh, that's really weird. That normally doesn't happen. Okay. Tuck that into place like so. Flip this guy up and around. So glad I discovered I can leave those missiles attached to the arms. So I don't have to worry about it. And of course, the one thing I'll say is that these guys have stupid names. Like this one. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Larahe, Laraji, Laraj, Laraji. Named after demons. Though I do believe the funniest one is just Amy. The fuck, Amy? Purple one's done. Now I gotta do the old ones, but I'm gonna turn off the camera for that. <laughs> okay, so it's way later. <clears throat> like a couple hours at least. So I've got Seeker stuff set up over there early, so I've got the thing there. But I had to do some stuff because I needed to do a really cool thumbnail. So I did this. So basically, trying to replicate the Killing Joke uh, cover art. And I did it effectively, as you could see from the thumbnail that I did. Um, but the other thing that was more important, I raised my set background. Because I got tired of it being at the top of things. So now, like to get this shot, basically I see the pole before I see the top of that. So that's the thing. But now I actually have to review the Chimera thing and then I eventually have to get um, Devastator back in his hole. That's not gonna be easy. Because when I tell you it was difficult to do that, I mean, it was a huge pain in my ass. It was a giant pain. So I think what I'll do, I'll start the review even with Devastator in the background. Oh, actually, let me get all my get all my stuff here. I gotta turn that TV down. That is loud as shit in there. So the wifey is home. Obviously, you can tell by the sound. Uh, who do I need now? I need Megs for comparison. Got Megatron and Starscream, and I'll bring over. Cowboy. Just uh, some comparisons. <clears throat> and then hopefully, hopefully I have enough time to get this review done and then get the uh, next one done. Or I just won't have a review for tomorrow. I'm um, okay with that. It's fucking movie. And better network than ever before. With more towers, more engineers, and more coverage. Okay. Some days I wish I had some sound deadening in here. But either way, time to get to work, get this review done. I mean, I had to stop to cook and then eat and then I've been sitting there essentially digesting. I guess I'm trying to break my thing there. It's go time.